take garbage and make it shine. This whole project is asinine. When some time with me, I can guarantee this soul junk will soon tone the line. I can't find the words This song is absurd We're polishing turrets We're polishing turrets All right, real good stuff, doers. I know you probably didn't think that you're going to get enough, another episode of, uh, or another season of Polishing Turds yet, but it looks like we might be here, ready for season three. Uh, so, my daily, this here beautiful Toyota 4Runner that we call a 2Runner because it's two-wheel drive. I don't know why they call it a 4Runner. It's only got two wheels pulling, but it's, uh, it's maybe got, starting to work on a head gasket a little bit, so... I got no truck, no no choice but to uh, maybe work on this thing a little bit, which I generally don't do. But I thought that while we're in there, I would uh, see if we can make just a little bit more power without getting too involved. Just do some basic stuff and see if we can pick things up. And that, of course, means that we've got a dyno beforehand, which is what we're going to do right now. So you're going to see a four-cylinder. I think this thing is like a 2.7. Look at this mechanical marvel right here. So it's got where I think we're just about to turn over 380,000 miles. And uh, anyhow, let's rip this thing one time and see what kind of, what it's made of. All right, here we are. It's time to make us pull. The biggest secret with this thing is right down here. See, it says ECT. That stands for extra power. So you got to push that in. That's sport mode right there. That's what everybody knows what's up. Anyhow. See, it's missing a little bit of idle. But you rev it up and it clears right out. So, I think we're good enough to make a pull. bit of steam up here but could be worse let's see what we got
All right, we got a grand total of, nah, we caught the ship. We can't just go off that. 81, 82, 81 horsepower. I have no idea what these things are supposed to make stock. Um, I'm sure not much. So I think it's a 2.7, but it feels like 81 horsepower. So we'll go with that. And uh, I guess I'm gonna have to rip this thing apart now. All right, made a second pull, managed to hold it in gear a little longer. Made 91. Um, I don't know. That sounds about right to me. Um, so let's rip it apart. All right. So change of plans. Curveball. Um, so I drove the two runner over to Office Guy Lee's house to pull the motor out. And uh, I did that. I'm going to start the process of fixing it up and whatnot. And then uh, office guy Lee talked me into something terrible. This is office guy Lee. Hey, <laughs> you call the shop. Uh, pretty good chance you talked to Lee. I'm the one that takes money. Right. Yeah, he handles all the money and whatnot. So, what did you talk me into, Lee? So I had an LS laying around the shop, and I think the two runners ready for some big power. So I got Pete talked into it, and. Uh, I'm gonna build this thing for him. Okay, right. So, anyhow, Lee talked me into LS swapping the two runner. Probably one of the dumbest things I've ever done, but we're doing it now. <laughs> um, and then he, uh, Lee claims that he can build engines. Professional. Right, professional style. And uh, he says that all the methods that I use are a bunch of bull mess. You don't need none of that crap. And he can do it his way, and it's just good or even better. Precise. Right, more precise. Yes. yes. So, <laughs> precision is the name of the game. So, anyhow, what we're going to do is, I got to go to World Cup Finals, whatever they call that race, in Maryland, with uh, Garrett here in the next couple of days. And while I'm gone, Lee is going to build... The baddest. The baddest LS that has ever rolled out of HED. Oh, yes. On camera for you guys. Mm -hmm. All right. So what are we working with here? What is this this bunch of stuff? So I found <laughs> this in a scrapyard. Right. It's an aluminum 5.7. Aluminum 5.7. This is going to be a true tree 50. True tree 50. All right. K1 crank. Got some Wisco pistons and uh, some. I see some a ARP stud oh, stuff yeah, happening. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. I found these two. Um, right. Had them laying around. Yep. I've been used about 40 times. Right. Um, got some pretty cool snazzy covers. These look familiar. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was on Beer Girl. I don't know. Okay, so this stuff might have come off Beer Money at some point in time mm -hmm. way back in the day. All right. Got one of them old dot to dot. Got a gears. dot to dot setup. None of these dial indicators for this thing. Mm -hmm. No sissy stuff. Right. Um, Let's see what kind of pistol you we got. Here we go. Think. Yeah, we got a set of Wisco's flat, top. yeah. flat tops. Should be around like what? You think about fifteen to one? Good for a turbo? Sure. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good to me. I mean, I gapped them with a grinder. Right. Okay. Cool. So. All right. So. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be. We got a box of random stuff that we're gonna build some kind of an engine for, mm. and put it in the two runner. Uh very shortly this is happening like pretty quick so kind of didn't plan on doing all this but why not i got pressure right i got pressured into it after the after my motor is laying in the floor junk i got pressured into this so here we go um i want to go to you'll see me up there with garrett and whatnot the next few days but while i'm gone magic's gonna happen mm -hmm. back here at hed and uh, when I get back, we'll put up another video of all that stuff. Anyhow, that's enough uh, turd polishing for one day. And uh, we'll see what happens.
can't find the words This song is absurd We're polishing tires 